and the police chief described him as someone who grew up there and he is embedded in that community. That community tonight is coming together to honor that fallen officer. CBS News Detroit's Walter Murphy is at tonight's vigil. Thank you for joining us, Walter. How's it going? Hey, Terrence. So, yeah, the uh, emotions here, it was a very bleak, emotional scene tonight at that candlelight visual for that officer, 23 year old Muhammad Saeed, who loved ones affectionately called Mo. Now, again, there were hundreds that came out to that vigil tonight and several departments and cities also showed up to support their fallen brother only hours after the suspect was captured, which made things even more emotional tonight. Now, several of the speakers told the crowd of over 100 that the alleged shooters capture didn't change the end result, and that was starting to sink in that their friend was never coming back. But they did have wonderful things to say about the man they loved who had only joined the Melvindale Police Department a little over a year ago. There's nothing in his entire life that he was more proud of than being able to be a police officer. Well, everybody says only the good die young. They absolutely do. I'll tell you what, he was great. He will never, ever be forgotten. He was everything to me. Hearing the news broke my heart. You know, but Allah, Allah, Allah. Alhamdulillah for everything. Now that was the fallen officer's brother who said, God is great, thanks be to God. Reporting in Melvindale, I'm Walter Murphy, CBS News, Detroit. Walter, thank you. Definitely a tough situation for that entire community and especially that family.